what's up everybody my name is newton and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to take you through the flat model routing how to navigate how to set route how to use the unchange function let me show you what we are going to do in this video so you see i have this simple application here very nice ui you can see I can even sell it for ten thousand dollars um, that's a bad joke so here i can just go to my um, home this is my home route you see welcome to the home page when i click on go to login and boom i'm on the login page right now and this is basically what we are going to do in this video so let's jump into it so before you can use the flat model you need to first import it in your project so here you can see i've imported it in my file and then i also have these pages that is uh, my home my about and then my sign up pages i have this file you see here views.py it's empty for now so let's go on and then we initiate our application to do that it's very simple i'm just going to create my main function and then i'm going to initiate it within my app So here it's very simple. I have my main function here and then inside the main function I didn't write anything and then I have uh, my app here and then uh, this line initiates the application and then I point it to my main function. So now let's save it and then run our application. So to run it, it's very simple. I, I simply need to run it with the live server. So I'm going to use this. And then I'll pass in the dash R argument. That is, um, it's going to update it. Whatever you do here, it will be updated in the main UI. So with this, my oops, I need to cd into my folder. So now you see, I have my application here, and it's running. Now I need to add some widgets to my uh, my main UI. I could do this by simply passing in maybe page dot add, and then here I can simply put in some containers and then um, or some widgets in there. But I'm not going to do that. That's not the purpose of this video. I'm simply going to use routing and then views to um, navigate within my application so to do that it's very simple i'm just going to write the line that is going to fire my uh, my route change function which i haven't created yet so let me create my route change function so here i've created this function which is going to handle all my route changes so whenever there's a change in the route i'm going to fire this function that is what you see here but before um, the, the, there will be a change in the route, you need to fire the route change first. So I'm going to create this line and then um, I'll point it to the main page in our application. So this line points to the main page in our application. That is my home route. And then inside the home route, uh, this is what I'm doing here. For now, it's not doing anything. So let's go on and then we create something here. First, I need to call my page.views, that is the container that handles all my pages. And then I'm going to clear it first. This page.views um, is from the flat module. And then what this line is doing is first, in, I need to clear whatever is in the, um, the, the list. And then I need to append something to it. What I append to it is what is going to be rendered as my new um, scene or the new screen that you see. So to do that, I need to do page.views.append. I need to append something. And then what I need to append should be a view object. You cannot append maybe a container or anything. You should append a view object. So you can see it right from here. Now to append a view object, we need to get the view. So now I'm going to append a view simply by calling the view class and then inside the view class I need to specify the route that I want to point to. So when I hover on it like this you can see it takes in route as an argument and also the controls. The controls is what is going to um, render as you call the view class like this. 
so inside here i have the controls um in a list because it controls it takes multiple widgets and then i'm simply going to put a container in there with height and weight and then background color so you can see i have my view objects here inside the view object i have my route inside the route i have this container that is going to um, get rendered and then now let's save it and see um, the outcome so okay so i have this error here when i go down like this you can see this the indentation this must not be in the function it should be outside the um, route chain function so now let me save it again and then let's see so now you see i have my screen here and this is very nice so doing this um, you have to remember that this is always going to render this main route that is the home page but this is not what we want to do we want it to be dynamic we want it to change upon um, a button click so maybe i'm on the home page and then i click to uh, maybe i click on go to login it should take me to the login screen so to fix this i just need to cut this and then let me go to this file that is the views.py which i don't have anything in yet so inside this views.py i need to import my flex model again and then i'm going to create a function that takes a page as parameter and also it's going to retain my uh, my views in the form of dictionary so this function is going to retain um, views in dictionary like this so let me go on and then we create the views so this is my first view the key is the home and then the value is this um, view that you have here so the reason why I, I did this is because you see here I have put the routes as the key so on my main application here this page object has a property called route so whenever the route changes I can get the current route by simply doing page.route and then it will give me the, the new route name so here I need to import this view um, views handler um, function in my main application so once I have this here what I can do is since this is going to return a dictionary then I can use um, my page dot route that is going to give me the route i can use it to get the view from this dictionary so i'm going to call my um, view handler function so this function takes in a page that is this page and then i'll explain why i um, added this as a parameter in a few minutes So this is going to be a dictionary but from the dictionary I just need one um, view so imagine I let me just duplicate this and then let me call this one my login route So now that I have multiple um, views here, I cannot pass it here because this is a dictionary and then I need a single view from here. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to print the page.view, I'm sorry, the page.route and then I will want to get this um, page.route from the dictionary. So whenever I go to the home, this one, let me bring my terminal and then you see. You can see that it gave me this um, string here, that is this route. So when I change this to the login, you will see that it will change to login. That is what you see here, right? So now that I have this, you can see um, it's very simple. I have this dictionary that has the keys these keys are my uh, my route so i have this home route i have the login 
so in my pages folder i have multiple um files here so what i need to do is i just need to create multiple um, dictionary keys and values for each of these files here but i'm not going to do that in this video because it's going to take so long i just want to go with this home and then the login pages so now if i change this back to the home and then refresh you can see i'm going to get the home that is this route when i change it to login i'm going to get this and then it will take me to the login um, route now we are almost done what we need to do is inside of these views we could just build the whole application here but uh, once again it is going to be so difficult and messy because um imagine after four months you want to come back and do some changes or maybe you want to um do some more features add some more features to your application and then you have thousand lines of code here this is going to be so much headache so what we usually do is you need to split your application into multiple screens like multiple files that i have here so here instead of um, rendering this container i want to just cut this container and then i'm going to import this class that is the home class and then the login class into these views and then i want to render that particular class so i'm just going to go on and then do it so now doing this i can simply call my uh, my home and then i'll pass in this page because the constructor class takes a page you can see here it takes this page so once i have this here what i can do is i will do the same thing for this one too so now we are almost done this is great so you can see welcome to the home page go to login if i change this to login you can see it will say um this is um, welcome back this is the login page go to home so for now this go to home is not clickable yet um this one too is not clickable so inside this um this class you see it's very simple i have my uh, my board function here which is returning a column inside the column i have a container that is this container and inside the container too i have um, this weight um, of 300 and then the background color is red also it contains another column and then inside the column that is another column within my container inside the column i have um, this text that says welcome to the home page and then i have this one also that says go to login great so inside this what i want to do is i want to add an on click function so on click this is going to fire um i need to call my lambda function to do the job so once i have this here because um this is going to have um an argument but i'm not going to use it that is why i left it like this you can put anything here you can write e you can write whatever you want here so now what i need to do is i just need to call my page which i don't have yet so i need you can see i've created it here that is self.page is equal to page so i'll just need to do self.page and then the page has a property called go that is what i used here that you, you can see from here so i will just need to add it that is page.go and then we specify where we want to go so now that we are on the um the home page what we we need to do is we need to pass in the login and you can see it right here so here you can see self.page.go and then this is going to go to the login page let me just copy this and then go to my login and then um, inside this container that is go home i can simply paste it because containers are clickable they, they have the on click function and then let me save it but here i just want to point it back to the home route so let me save it again and then once i've done this now i'm almost done what i need to do is i just need 
to click on this button and then it will take me to my home um sorry this one will take me to my login screen so let me go on and then click on this button so let me click one two three and now you see i'm on the login screen and this is very simple so if you have multiple files multiple screens multiple um whatever you call it you can just put all of them here inside these views um this function that retains our views in dictionary and then this guy here is just going to um that is this guy the page dot route is going to give us the current or um i don't know how to call it but the 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 route that we are um, going to it will give us that route and then we from the dictionary we just ne need to pass it and then we get it from our dictionary so here if the route is not available it's not going to work but since we created them manually this is going to work and then we append it to our views and it's going to get rendered so that is it for this video and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and also don't forget to do like and then comment down your thoughts on the routing and um, what you want me to add in the next video and also i'm going to leave a link to this code that we use in this um tutorial i'm going to leave it in the description you can just tap on and then go to my github clone it and also don't forget to start it when you go to my github page thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you in the next one